So we are in the Cairngorms. Um, this is day number two of our trip and the hope is to do some wildlife photography, um, specifically looking for some mountain hares. Um, we've come up to the same kind of area as we did last year and in fact yesterday we went to exactly the same spot where we went last year but we weren't particularly successful. Um, it's beautiful with snow at the moment but yesterday it was really really windy as well and the combination of wind and snow basically meant for a whiteout um, so yeah, it was difficult to even get the cameras out of the bag let alone mm. to try and find a hair and take a decent photo of it so yeah conditions yesterday were, were just so difficult up on the hill i think i managed to get maybe one shot of a hair uh, before the white out the white out hit us. Mm. Um, we'll see. I haven't really had a chance to look at it yet and work out whether it's going to be any good or not. But um, we'll probably head up there again at some point whilst we're we're here. We're here for the week, and the weather forecast for the next couple of days is actually looking quite nice. It's looking a little bit calmer than it's been the last couple of days. But oh my word, it's just so beautiful here. We've got snow which we didn't have last last year because last year we came up a week after the snow. This time we've hit it just right. We drove up in the middle of storm, which was a bit of a hairy drive, but, but we woke up yesterday morning to just a blanket of snow and it's just like a magical winter fairyland here. It's stunning. Um, so today we thought, because the forecast were for quite high wind, we decided not to head up to the same spot we were at yesterday. Um, we thought we'd try somewhere different, but I'm also hoping we might be able to get some landscape shots today as well. So I couldn't resist just stopping and trying to take a, a landscape shot or two. It's just so beautiful here. Um, the way the light is catching that mountain over on the opposite side of the valley is just just stunning. Um, I started actually with a, with a camera and a tripod, but I've just tried a couple of handheld shots as well because it's so bright. It's still middle of the day, so um, I'm not sure if a tripod was really needed. But uh, yeah, i just done some basic, uh, e even at sort of ISO 100, um, F11 shutter speeds were still over one, 125th of a second so yeah I can definitely get away with handheld here so um, Hannah's actually got the telephoto down there as well and I might actually steal it now and see if I can take some telephoto shots as well So we made it up through the woods and we came up here onto the, the higher slopes and um, <laughs> as you can see it's pretty windy up here. Um, we did actually start to hike up the hills a little bit to see if we could find any trace of some hares but um, the snow was just too deep, it's just we were really struggling just to make any headway. Um, you probably won't be able to hear me on this microphone in this wind um, but we've actually just decided to stop out here because every now and again it does calm down a little bit if you can believe that. So um, uh, we thought I'd just sort of wait out here for a few minutes just to see if this uh, uh, snow clears a little bit because if it does, this could... Oh, there's my hood. 
Um, if it does, then this could actually result in quite a decent landscape shot. So, yeah, we'll sit it out for a few minutes and, uh, and see how we get on. So apologies for the, the bad quality, both in sound and picture, but um, I'm having to record this on my phone because I don't want to get the, uh, the video camera out in the snow. But, um, yeah, basically, it's... Um, uh, yeah, the light didn't happen in the end. We... Um, we sat it out for a while and it did actually just start to clear up and I was getting a bit hopeful and then after, before it actually cleared up fully, the snow really set in and visibility dropped so we decided it's time to get back um, and we're coming up towards sunset now as well so um, yeah, not the world's most successful trip for the wildlife but we were kind of you know, treating today as a bit of a scout really for the wildlife anyway so um, but it's been just a beautiful walk. I mean, just look at this place. It's like a fairy tale. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to try and get back to the car now. Um, go and warm up, and then hopefully tomorrow we'll have some more luck with the hares. Um, we're both having quite a struggle today actually. Um, we're in the same place we were in last year and although conditions are absolutely perfect, the weather's absolutely beautiful and we've got loads of snow, um, the drop in the number of hairs this year is just so much more noticeable, um, which is quite a concern really and yeah we're both kind of a little bit worried about that because it's really kind of a, a sign that the hairs aren't doing very well. Um, this year we've had a particularly mild winter and it we just haven't had the snow cover up until this week there just hasn't been the snow up here to give them their uh, protection their camouflage because of course once their coats turn white if there's no snow they're then quite vulnerable to predators um, so it's a little bit of a worrying sign to be honest that they're they're not doing well um, we've both struggled really to find many heads we've seen a few up here um, have you managed to take you managed to get a photo didn't you Oh yes, I took one photo. Um, <laughs> it won't be winning any awards anytime soon. Um, but yeah, it's uh, as Sam said. You know, it, that's the striking message of how many less hairs there are. It's, yeah. Uh, um, it can be quite an eye opener, really, when you come out somewhere and um, actually. You know, because we came here last year and this place was just covered in hairs and coming out here this year and just seeing how much fewer, how dramatic it was. We'd heard before we came that the hairs weren't doing well this year, but it, it really is striking. Um, and it's really quite upsetting. Um, in terms of photographs, I, I mean, I've, I think I managed to get one photograph from a distance. Um, uh, quite a nice silhouette shot. It looks okay on the back of the camera anyway. We'll see how it looks um, when I get it back home onto the computer. Um, but it's certainly not been not been easy and in terms of getting close to hairs to get nice close-up shots like we managed last year it's just not been possible but yeah the other thing the other thing which i'm struggling with is i've hired this sigma 150 to 600 mil lens um, and the autofocus seems to have packed up so um yeah it seems to work okay i don't know if it's just not liking the cold or not but that's I've been having to manual focus, which for fast moving hairs is, is definitely not ideal. So um, yeah, it's a little bit of a struggle. We've, we've only probably got about an hour's worth of light left this evening. So we'll see how we get on. But yeah, it's, a, it's just a little bit concerning just how few hairs there are up here.
so despite it being a real struggle this year I did just manage to get some absolutely stunning photos over here um, I was just making my way slowly back down the hill and I saw this, um, this little head popping out of the snow and oh, it was just the most perfect moment I am um, managed to get some really nice shots. I actually had to um, switch the lens over, so the Sigma lens is down here at the moment, um, and I had to switch back onto the uh, uh, our old 300mm, because uh, yes, the autofocus on, on the Sigma was, was playing up for some reason. Um, but even just with a 300mm, lens. I'm so pleased. Um, I had quite a few minutes of the hair just sat there and I was taking some shots just, just of the head poking out the snow. Um, and then uh, he or she, I, I, I can't tell the difference, um, just started to clean herself and wow, just some absolutely beautiful shots. So that has made my day. Um, Despite things being so difficult today, I'm so pleased now that I've actually got some shots which I'm really, really happy with. So, oh. but it's cold. Um, the sun is starting to set. You can see behind me. Oh. It's just gorgeous here, freezing cold. Um, I managed to put my foot in a stream earlier on, so my foot has gone numb. Um, my face is going numb. I can't talk properly. Um, the camera's shaking because I'm so cold. But my God. That moment is just made up for it all. I was so worried that I wasn't going to get any decent shots today. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to maybe find out how Hannah's been getting on. I also saw a mountain hare on my descent from the hill, one that allowed me to get relatively close to it, and it trusted me enough to eat seekertrophs, which are the soft stools that they eat directly from their bottoms. So I have photos not just of a hare huddled up against the wind, but also showing a natural behaviour. <laughs> 